Hello everyone, welcome to an episode of Showcase on the Dark Souls Remaster. For today, I want to look at the Brass Armor set. Let's we'll start with the description. Helm of the Dark Moon Nightus, Firekeeper of Anolondo. After coming on dead, he visited the Dark Moon or Dark Sun Gwendolyn at the Mausoleum of the Spiral Depths and became a Blade of the Dark Moon, and her assumed the flame firekeeping duty. She received this helm, which hides her hideous form and helps her hunt the guilty. Rather rude, because you know, we're all hollow, we're all pretty effing ugly. Join the club. <laughs> Some of us own up to it. <laughs> but yes, all the other armor sets are pretty much the same, just changing the knight of the art item of appeal. Alright, another interesting thing is when you upgrade this armor, it takes actually twinkling taintonite. This stuff is in low you know, high demand, since special weapons use this, so it's rather strange for armor to have required for upgrades. That's actually a great thing, considering its scarcity. Now, visually it's quite extravagant. It's more like a battle dress, meant for the female form if I dare, dare argue, but... Using brass as armor, it's a terrible idea. Brass is a non-ferrous metal, meaning it cannot be heat treated properly. <laughs> so it's rather soft. Not only that, in cold conditions, it tends to crack and break, especially in the thinner forms. So yeah, and it's not exactly hard. You, in armor form, you could probably dent with your fist. So stopping a hammer, not gonna happen. But let's put that aside. It's Dark Souls. It's quite fancy looking. It's got very much little struts, it seems to be made of similar plates, belt straps, and the dress portion of pure chainmail. Which could stop a couple things, but Arguably, this is all just for looks. <laughs> In terms of armor, it's actually more of the, uh, mm, just slightly under the medium range, weight and armor-wise, which we'll get into now. Now, starting off with the helmet, you can see here that the helmet is about a decent de defense, but compared, compared to the Elite Knight set, it's slightly under that range. Weight-wise, it's firmly squared in the middle. Pretty much just slightly over the halfway point. Moving on to the chest plate. Now, defense is not so great. Yeah, compared to the late night, it's significantly less, almost 20 points of physical defense. And weight wise, being uh, more, again, a little bit past the halfway point. So, I'd argue the helmet and the chest plate armor is not really worth the time if you're going for dabble protection over aesthetics. Going on to the ball well, gauntlets, gauntlets are faring a bit better. Where the image is much as, as much as the Elite Knight set, when fully upgraded, but it's still fairly light compared to other gauntlets. So it could be used in other sets if you're looking for something between light and protection. But yeah, probably it might be better choices. And finally, we'll move on to the greaves, or leggings, where the, again, the protection's fairly beneath the Elite Knight set, with both of them being medium range in terms of weight, however, the leggings being slightly too heavy for the wor worth the effort. Arguably, it's the one that's not really worth it in the most out of all the other items. But no matter, let's go on to a quick score and pros and cons. Going on to some Quick pros and cons of the brass set. On the pros, it is aesthetic as hell. It looks very nice. And that's about it. On the uh, cons, it is not exactly the best choice in terms of armor via, uh, versus weight. And it takes Twinkling Take Knight to upgrade, which could be better spent on weapons. So yes, now moving on to the score. Going on to the three categories, I'm going to give the armor for defense a C wasn't exactly impressive for how much you got versus how much weight. Speaking of which, for weight, I'll give it a C-. The Elite Knight set almost has the same weight ratio, but has significantly more armor. So this is not working well for this armor either. Miscellaneous, I'm going to give that a D+. Now something I didn't mention in other videos, but I should really include, is the poise. The poise for this armor is 41 in total, where the Elite Knight is 46. Again, the perfect reference point because these are both medium grade armors, but the brass side being worse in almost every category. See, so, yeah. 
So in total, it gets a C minus around there. <laughs> Not exactly the best set. Looks pretty. That is about as far as it goes in terms of usefulness. Every other stat is less than most other medium grade armor in its class. <laughs> but hey, it looks, at least it looks good, right? And in short, the brass set is pretty much all style points. It provides some protection, but not a whole lot. Just like the person you killed to get it, because we all know how you get this. <laughs> You're a monster. <laughs> but no matter. That's been Showcase for today. I'd like to thank you all for watching. I hope to see you guys next time. Take care out there.